A very good afternoon to all the jury members, panel members, organizers, and all present here. My name is Shama Patyal, working as radiographer at CH Nadon District, Hamirpur, Himachal Pradesh. Currently pursuing my PhD in forensic science from lovely professional university, Jalandhar. Today I'm here to present on the topic, sex de determination from digital radiographs of coastal cartilage, a cross-sectional study. Next slide, please. Now, first of all, introduction. One of the main objective of a forensic investigation is identification. Now, what is identification? Identification means determination of individuality of a person. We need identification in case of living, dead, skeletal remains. Now, three main characteristics of identifications are age, sex, and stature. Now, sex identification is very important as it excludes almost half of the population. So, aim of my study is to study sexual dimorphism in coastal cartilage calcification with the aid of digital radiographs. This study is useful when thoracic cage is only present. Now, we can see in the figure displaced here, coastal cartilage uh, shown yellow in color are the bars of hyaline cartilage that provides elasticity to the wall of thorax. They are merely present at anterior ends of the ribs. Seven pairs coupled with the sternum, lower threes are joined with the preceding ribs. Next slide. Uh, now, review of literature for my study. First of all, Arthur Elkies in 1966 radiographed 2606 patients in the age group of 30 to 80. His findings showed perichondrium calcification predominantly in males and dense bands of granules in females. Steve Navney in 1970 divided the calcification pattern in three groups and also studied its influence on age. J. M. L. Fritz in 2003 studied the role of radiology in forensics and suggested the need of training and standardization in the field of forensic radiology. In OIT, in 2004, studied 110 cadavers of Japanese population, 55 of each, studied calcification of fourth right coastal cartilage, and his findings showed distal ends of the ribs and the shape of coastal coastal chondral junction revealed better estimation of sex and age. Now, Olega Richardova in 2004 studied sage population and took 1044 chest and abdominal radiographs. He divided central calcification pattern further as central lingual and central globular. Helen P. Middleman in 2015 studied cadavers of Scottish population, both by McCormick and Roger Torva pattern of calcification, but none of these calc methods help in correct sexing. So he used a new method based on calcified deposits. Now, all the role of coastal cartilage in sex determination has been studied earlier also, but there are limitations from population to population. None of the studies use digital radiography, which can provide better visualization of ribs. Next slide, please. <clears throat> now, aim and objective. My aim is to study coastal cartilage calcification in males and females with the help of digital radiographs and evaluating it. Now, significance of my study, this study will provide fast, simple, and less costly method of sex determination from chest radiographs when other conventional methods are not effective and thoracic cage is only present. It is a non-destructive method. Now, next slide, ma'am. <laughs> Material and methodology for my study. Data for this cross-sectional study was collected from Government Hospital Nadon, 200 PHS radiographs, 100 of each sex were considered 
after following inclusion and exclusion criteria. My inclusion criteria was normal PA chest radiographs of both sexes above 10 years. And my exclusion criteria was subjects under 10 years of age uh, having incomplete ossification and having any deformity or disease were not collected. Now, radiographs were divided into four groups on basis of age, that is 10 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, and 60 and above. Calcification pattern was divided as peripheral, central, mixed, and indifferent. <clears throat> Next slide. Now, equipment for my study. For first, X-ray plant for taking radiographs of the subject. I had used Ellinger's 300 MA Mars machine for taking radiographs and FCR Prima console and image works of Fujifilms for viewing and entering subject information. Here is the image showing the setup of FCR Prima console FCR Primer T, which is used as a cassette reader and imager for uh, taking hard copy of radiographs. Now positioning and technique, the subject stands in erect position, facing the cassette, stand with the chin extended, the dorsal side of both hands was positioned below and behind the hips for greater visualization of lung field and to avoid superimposition of scapula. X-ray beam was centered at the level of fourth dorsal vertebra and exposure was given. Now image processing, the cassette was removed from the chest stand and then placed into FCR primer T. FCR primer unit was used to scan the cassette and entering the information. Image was displayed on the computer that is on FCR primer console. <coughs> Next slide, please. Next slide. Now result, result of my study, out of 200 radiographs, calcification was observed in 41 males and for 35 females chest radiographs. Percentage of calcification was higher in age group of 60 and over, that is 41%, and least in 10 to 20, that is only 2%. Next slide. <coughs> Next slide. Ma now, you can see in the image, the peripheral, peripheral, that is type 1, was found in 33 males, whereas type 2, that is central, was seen in 29 females, whereas mixed calcification was found only in 6 females and 3 males. Indifferent pattern was observed only in one subject that, in the, that is in the case of only one female. Now, my conclusion. Next slide, please. 80% of the calcification in males was peripheral. 83% showed central types of calcification. The earliest radiograph showing calcification was seen in 16 yeah. years of male so and 18 years of female radiograph. Yes. present study shows the presence of sexual dimorphism in pattern of postural cartilage calcification. The percentage of calcification was seen increasing with age. At last, I would like to say benefit of sex determination by chest radiographs. Number one, it is easy and simple. It is inexpensive as compared to CT and MRI and it gives less radiation dose to the sample. Useful. It will be useful in many cases like in medical legal cases when only thoracic cage is only present and for individuals having intersex related issues, it act as a preliminary test. And in case of mass disaster and genocide. My last slide is of references. And with all with that, thank you, ma'am. Thank you.